Hello and welcome back. I'm Laura from Antelope Beads. We continue our introduction of Bulahan beads from the Philippines. We're very excited to offer this new line of wood, seed, and other natural beads. There are 11 types of wood, many types of seeds, and water buffalo, bone, and horn. Each type of bead is so unique, we wanted to introduce you to each one individually. All of the beads come on a 16-inch wire strand. They range in price from $2 to $24. Our first wood is jackfruit wood, also known as nanka. This bright yellow wood is from the jackfruit tree, which is native to parts of Southern and Southeast Asia. In addition to being used for beads, the wood of the tree is used for furniture and musical instruments. The fruit of the tree is comparable in flavor to a banana, mango, or pineapple. Next we have redwood. Redwood beads are not made from endangered trees of the same name. Rather, they come from different types of mahogany found in the Philippines, or sebacau, a natural wet redwood that can absorb skin oils and become more beautiful with wear. Next we have gray wood. Graywood beads can be made from a Philippine bamboo or from any variety of wood that is gray in color and has a dark gray, almost brown sheen. Next we have the white woods, a natural finish and a bleached finish. White wood beads come from a variety of woods native to the Philippines, each having a natural white color. The pure bright white of the bleached white wood is achieved through a pickling process. Now rosewood. Rosewood beads are made from a number of different woods that range in color from light to medium shades of pink. Rosewood beads have wood grain patterns that are especially intricate and truly enhance the beauty of the wood. Next up, tiger ebony. Tiger ebony beads come from several different types of trees found in the Philippines and is known to be especially dense and hard and very dark in color. Tiger ebony beads can be a mix of black and brown or are almost entirely black and tend to have a very high polish. Next up, bayong. Bayon wood beads are made from a type of hardwood similar to mahogany that grows in the Philippines. Bayon beads are a medium shade of brown that can have a darker, quite pronounced wood grain. Next up, Robles wood. The teak like Robles wood grows tropically in the Philippines, a strong wood, almost as dark as coffee beans. It has beautiful wood grains that almost look like patterns at times. Next up, we have old palm wood and cocoa beads. The old palm wood beads look like they've been painted, but their parallel dark brown black markings are their natural wood grain. The cocoa beads are a byproduct of palm tree timber production. Beads come in light to dark shades of golden brown. Now we have seeds. We have the saw wog seed and we have the brewery seed. The exotic looking saw wog seed are carved from the nuts of the saw wog palm tree. They are white or cream colored with dark brown veins. The burry seed beads are carved from the seeds of the burry palm tree, which is native to the Philippines. Burry seeds are dark brown outside and creamy white inside, and are often carved to showcase both colors. And our last set of Bulahan beads are made from the Caribou water buffalo. The water buffalo is commonly found in the Philippines. They make beads out of the bones, which are perfectly white, 
The hoof beads come in great marbled combinations of whites and grays, and the horn beads come in beautiful translucent golden yellows, rusts, and browns. Thanks for taking the time to learn about our beautiful Bulahan beads. Please go to our website, antelopebeads.com, to find out more and to see our entire selection of Bulahan beads, as well as all of our other beautiful artisan products. Thanks for watching.